hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here welcome to this happy family please like subscribe comment engage and if you are a returning viewer hello i hope all is well it's great to see you again guess what today we are reviewing um the latest collection by nishane the x collection so nishane is actually one of my favorite perfume houses um, they claim, I didn't verify, <laughs> that they are the first and only niche perfume brand coming out of Istanbul, Turkey, which is super cool. Um, um, what drew me to the brand actually is that, like the uniqueness, the uniqueness of the composition, you know, the fragrance, even the location where it's coming out of. Um, what they do is they incorporate a lot of their history, you know, culture um you know culture history emotions um into the composition of their fragrances so that is super cool and i'm so excited to review this and this video and this review um is completely unbiased i purchased a discovery scent by myself i i even blind bought a fragrance um, no one bought it for me and so what you're getting today is my own personal um opinion about the new collection so we will start with my ultimate favorite which is ani i love ani so so much <laughs> uh, i was actually late to the party with ani so ani is a vanilla fragrance i would even liken it to a lemon pound cake so it's spicy it's gourmand it's um, a gourmand fragrance. Like I did say, it does have vanilla. Um, upon first spray, it does have, you know, that lemon pound cake hug. You know, it was very intense. And what I will say is with the X collection, it appears that the brand, uh, basically what they did is they took their five mass appealing fragrances and, you know, they address a lot of, you know, the comments, concerns, and criticisms that people have had in the past about the original. So these fragrances are meant to be unisex, but a lot of these fragrances either leaned too masculine or too feminine, or maybe the, longev um, the longevity wasn't there, or, you know, they just just so many different criticisms, were, which I'm gonna go and get into today about the original line and so like i did say they took five of the mass selling ones um hundred a hundred silent ways ani hashivat um fanya flames and wulong cha and they revamped it i don't want to say remix they revamped it they either removed notes included notes um changed the composition you know maybe taking something that was a note that was in the bottom and bringing it to the heart no so it was it's just super exciting so if you loved those five that i mentioned um stay tuned because i'm going to get into it and if you are not familiar with the brand i'm going to do a comparison either way um a lot of these i do have the original or i have the sample and so i'm going to be giving you all the comparison so back to ani um, I am a huge fan of ani so what i did originally is i purchased um they so nishani does offer like twin twin miniatures and so i got um ani was one of them and i was late to the party I, what a lot of people loved about ani is like i said it is just a unique approach to vanilla it made a lot of youtubers and perfume lovers like top 10 vanilla fragrances list or top five um and it's really because like i did say it has that lemon that lemon pound cake approach. Longevity is amazing, Siage is amazing. Um, and yeah, I truly love it. But a criticism of this fragrance is, is very heavy handed. And so what Nishani did with the X collection, Ani X, is they made it more fresher, more well-rounded. It's more of a fragrance that you could wear throughout the day. Whereas, you know, Ani is not for the faint of hearts, honey. Like. <laughs> You know, depending on your approach, some people may say this leans heavily masculine. It's a very strong fragrance. Um, this is Ani, the original. This is OG Ani. 
uh the top notes are bergamot they're green notes blue ginger pink pepper um the heart notes are black currant turkish rose cardamom um the base notes are patchouli cedarwood vanilla benzoin ambergris musk and sandalwood and i actually wore this today um i sprayed it in the morning and let me just check the time now this i'm gonna i'm about to embarrass myself it's 10 36 p.m at night you know at night where i am and i still smell it and i've even changed clothes and everything and i can still smell the fragrance on my skin um again like i said upon first sniff you get that vanilla that lemony you know uh vanilla which i love so much about this fragrance um so with nishani x like i said it is a fresher approach so this is how the discovery set comes by the way so it's a fresher approach to it the top notes are bergamot oil lemon oil watery notes honeydew melon okay cardamom oil blue ginger pink pepper and the middle notes are lavender oil sage green apple black currant rose patchouli and the base notes are cedar wood cashmere wood vanilla ambergris fusion white musk and sandalwood so as you just by reading the notes you already see that it's fresher um if you thought um ani the original was too strong uh, that you can't wear it throughout the day it's not wearable then you want to check this one out okay so ani x yeah i actually have it sprayed here so upon first sniff, you get the honeydew and the watery notes and that, you know, and that vanilla, that unique vanilla that is in the Ani original. So that Ani DNA is still there. When you first spray it, you like when I first sprayed it, I was like, oh, it still smells like Ani. But where it differs is how it evolves and performs throughout the day. So Ani OG, um, we're going to call the original OG and then the new one X. Ani OG is very linear. Like you get the same smell throughout the day. Once you, from when you spray it to, you know, at night, you, you will smell the same exact fragrance. But Ani X, it evolves. So within maybe the first minute or so, you're like, oh, it's Ani, right? Because you're getting that Ani DNA. But then it becomes so fresh with the honeydew melon, the watery notes. Um, and it's just a more wearable fragrance. It's more unisex, it's more balanced. So if you thought that Ani OG was too strong, too overpowering, too heavy handed, too masculine, I would say, you know, give Ani X a try because it is that fresher approach. You know, it's still Ani, but you get the honeydew melon, watery notes. And he can wear it throughout the day. I, I mean, the original Ani, I can even say like that's a date night fragrance. It's a nighttime fragrance. Although I am pro, wear whatever you want, whenever you want, as long as you don't make people sick. <laughs> so I tend to wear Ani all the time. I'm actually looking forward to the colder, cooler months and cooler temperatures. So just to see how Ani performs in that climate, you know, with the wind blowing and oh, I just cannot wait. But Ani X is year round, you know, it's a signature worthy fragrance. You can wear it in any temperature, any time of day. Um, it's super balanced, very wearable. So that's Ani X. Ani and Ani X. So that leads me to the second one. Like I did say, I did get the miniature um, size initially. With Ani, I ended up getting a full bottle of Ani. And I got the Ani X. I blind bought the Ani X <laughs> because I just, I just love the fragrance. And to be honest, I prefer OG Ani to Ani X. I like the strength of it. I think Ani is unique for a reason. I think it's a classic. I don't think it needs to be tampered with. Um, but I do get how some people may think it's heavy handed and, you know, you may prefer Ani X. But for me, Ani OG is, is where it's at. So the next one is Hashibat. Hashiva is um, a pineapple fragrance. I know a lot of people try to compare it to Creed. I did not agree with that at all. Um, so it's a Shipra citrus woody fragrance. The top notes of the original um, are bergamot and grapefruit. The heart notes are jasmine, patchouli, and cedarwood. 
and the bottom notes are clear wood, oak moss, and dry timber wood, uh, dry, timber wood, excuse me. I wanted to love this fragrance so bad because I love a good pineapple note in my fragrances, but it is too dirty for me. Like it's very, to me, it leans very masculine. Um, it's very earthy. And I just, I didn't like the earthiness and the dirtiness of it, to be honest. So how Nishane, I would say, remedied it or, um, you know, changed it, revamped it in the X collection is it took away that earthy component. And, you know, it's more of a, let me just spray it. Where are you? There we go. Ashiba X. So it's, you still get that pineapple top note. You know, bergamot is also still a top note. But what they did is they took the grapefruit out of the top note and added um, pink pepper. And the heart notes are lime, jasmine, and orange flower. And the bottom notes are patchouli, cedarwood, heart, and vetiver um, oil, Haiti, or Haitian. Yeah, so it's a cleaner, it's a cleaner, um, it's still very woody and citrus, but it doesn't have that earthiness that was in the original Hashiva. So I would say that this is more unisex, more balanced now. I can see a woman um, wearing the X version over, you know, the original. The original for me just leaned very masculine. Um, although I, I am, I mean, there are women that, you know that love the original and they wear the original um but i can see how you know the x is just more it's just more versatile has a wider appeal it's more unisex like you could say okay this is a unisex fragrance whereas like i said the original i felt was just very masculine leaning um so the x you have that you know pineapple note um, you do have that pink pepper still. Um, well, not still, but you definitely perceive the pink pepper in the new one. Uh, the, the earthiness is there, but it's not as distinct and as pungent um, as in the original Hasiva. So that is my take on that one. I It's just not one of my favorites, so I never got a full bottle. In fact, I actually gave this away <laughs> um, because I just felt like it leaned very masculine. It was just too earthy. Um, but it smells amazing on uh on a man okay um i personally like i did say i just felt like the original lean masculine the new one i think is more balanced and more women could wear it confidently and not be worried about that earthiness that dirtiness to it all right but to each their own if you like that then you know then you could you know decide whether you want to stick with the original or not so the next one on the list is 100 Silent Ways. So 100 Silent Ways, I know a lot of people compared it to YSL Black Opium. And I love YSL Black Opium. Obviously now, you know, they, it's considered to be a crowd pleaser, you know. It's a popular fragrance. Um, but I did not agree with the comparison completely. I think YSL, what makes YSL so unique and so distinct is the coffee notes. So 100 Silent Ways, yes, it has that similar, you know, that floral and sweetness to it, but it does not have the depth and the coffee notes um, that are, you know, in YSL. So I wouldn't say it's completely like YSL. I see where people might, you know, com compare it and say it's similar, but I just, like, it's, you can't, you can't co compare the two because the coffee notes in the YSL to me was just super unique and you know iconic <laughs> um so i'm gonna decide the ways it's floral musky a gourmand fragrance it's ysl's you know uh sweet soft sister um it has tuberose mandarin and peach as a top note the heart notes are white jasmine gardenia or an auris the bottom notes are vanilla sandalwood and vetiver and like i did say uh, once you spray it you're going to smell that tuberose, mandarin, peach top note. Like it is genuinely that. Um, it is, I would say it lasts about eight hours. It's a decent performing fragrance. It's soft, it's sweet. Um, it doesn't necessarily pack a punch like Ani. Yeah, I'm gonna be mentioning Ani throughout because 
I love Vani. Um, but it also, I would say, given what I said already, like we already talked about why I sell opium. We also, and I also read the notes to you. That is, it, it describes a, a fragrance that leans feminine, heavily feminine. Um, but it's supposed to be a unisex fragrance. That's how it is described. But it leans heavily feminine. So what um, 100 Silent Ways X, you know, in the new collection uh, did is it adds um, more depth to it. And it actually makes it more unisex. So just picture 100 Silent Ways, but with leather. Yes. So the top notes are tuberose, mandarin, peach. So that is still there. The heart notes are white jasmine, gardenia, auris, and heliotrope. And then the bottom notes are vanilla, leather, and patchouli. So it gives it more of a spicy, leathery approach. It's not a sweet leather. It is like, um, I don't know how to explain it, but it's not a sweet leather, if that's what you're thinking. It's a, it's like it's like leather. It's like tire leather, okay? Um, and so if you're interested in that, if you didn't, if you felt like 100 Silent Ways, the original was too sweet, I would say give 100 Silent Ways X a try. I prefer the original, obviously. Um, but yeah, 100 Silent Ways X is, is different in its own way. I personally am not a fan of leather notes, so that's why I prefer the original. But some people may like that. I do see how this is more unisex. Um, the X version with the leather, and I think this leans less feminine than the original. So if you would like to give uh, 100 Silent X a try, I would suggest you do so. Um, obviously, I would say sample before you buy because these are niche fragrances. They're expensive and they are unique. So you may not like them and like I would hate for you to invest so heavily in something that you do not like. Uh, so I would recommend, you know, getting the discovery set or at least being able to smell it as of now, um, as of the time that this video is going to be released. The um, these the X collection is not available in, a, in the department stores that I've tried and looked up. Um, so right now, I would suggest, you know, you could head over to Nishani's website and get it directly from them or, you know, see if any of their um, authorized retailers or resellers have it or when they're going to get it because as of now like i said it's not it's not available in bloomingdale's or anything like that at least not near me so that is another um tidbit okay so the next fragrance we are going to talk about is wulong cha wulong cha is you know their tea fragrance and i personally did not like it enough to buy okay i have the body oil so nishane for a lot of these fragrances that i mentioned that i'm discussing in this video they do have body oils and hair oils so um and that's a great way you know i'm all about layering that's a great way to make your fragrance more you know unique and just to uh, you know create more lasting power um to with your fragrances so I do have the Wula Cha body oil. I knew I wasn't going to buy the bottle because I'm not really into tea fragrances. Um, if I'm going to buy a fragrance, I love my fragrances to be warm, you know, long lasting, unique. Like it has to tick all the boxes at this point. Um, so Wula Cha is a citrus. It's considered to be a citrus green musky fragrance. The top notes are bergamot, orange, lisi, and, and mandarin. The heart notes are oolong tea, nutmeg, um, and the bottom notes are musk and fig. I wouldn't say that this is a sweet fragrance, but it's definitely a tea-like fra tea -like fragrance. I know a lot of the criticisms um, with this one was like it didn't last long or it wasn't tea enough. I guess the tea wasn't hot enough for some folks uh, <laughs> or cold enough. Uh, obviously, this is a great springtime or, um, or summer fragrance, you know, being that like sometimes the air is so humid, it's not exactly like a cloying fragrance. So, you know, this is a good time depending on where you are located to, you know, experience this fragrance. So what Ani, uh, what Nishani did in the X collection is they made it a lot more tea, uh, tea-like. That tea note, they amplify the tea note. And instead of oolong tea, they use green tea. So upon first spray, 
I didn't even read the notes uh, to even, I, I didn't read the notes of the composition. Once I sprayed it, I was like, there, there has to be green tea in this. And truly, that is what they did. So the top notes are bergamot, yuzu, litsi, uh, mandarin. And the heart notes are man mangolia, I'm sorry, yeah, magnolia, thyme oil, green tea. And the bottom notes are musk and fig. So you definitely get the musk and fig and the green tea, like, upon first spray that is what you smell so if you love green tea fragrances if you love tea fragrances i would say check out wulong cha x the new one because that's the one that the green tea is prominent um it's different like again it differs from the original where which has the oolong tea okay so if you're into that check it out um longevity is about the same on me so that was about, it's about like five, five hours, but it's not, again, it's not like a super strong fragrance. It's a tea fragrance. So it's subtle. You smell it, you know, it's there. Um, depending on if you're the type of person that, you know, tea fragrances make you feel, you know, comforted, like it's, you still get that approach from it. Um, again, but they just changed it with the green tea. So it's more unisex, more balanced. Um, you're getting more tea from it, but green tea this time. And last but not least, we are going to talk about Fan Your Flames. So Fan Your Flames is one that I have to admit, I, prior to um, getting the Discovery set for the X collection, I did not try Fan Your Flames. But from what I, you know, read, watched, um, it was, it seemed to be a very um, feminine leaning fragrance and the original notes are, you know, coconut, rum, tobacco, and taka bean. That's the um, heart notes. Top notes are coconut and rum. Middle notes, to uh, tobacco and tonka bean. Bottom notes, oak moss and Chinese cedarwood. And this is considered to be a boozy, gourmand, woody fragrance. And so with Fan Your Flames X, because I do have that here, um, I would say I already spray this, uh, but it is very much so boozy and gourmand and woody, but definitely boozy. Boozy enough to be generally unisex this time. I can, I can definitely picture a man wearing this fragrance and a woman. And I would even dare to say I would love to smell this in the fall. Like this would be a good transition fragrance. This would be stellar in the winter, but definitely in the fall. This is a great date night fragrance as well, but it's super unisex. Like I, I can't really say, and I sprayed this about five or six times. I can't really say which one, uh, which gender it leans towards the most. I can picture a man, you know, wearing this fragrance and a woman. Um, so the X version, the top notes are coconut and rum, but this time they added lint, lint, uh, lintesque. The heart notes are still tobacco, tobacco and tonka bean, but they added thyme oil and carrot. Uh, the bottom notes are cedar, oak moss, and patchouli. So it definitely balances out. It gives it this fragrance more depth. Like I said, it's very unisex. Um, prior to the original, I used to just see women talking about fan your flames. Um, and very few men would mention it, but the X version is definitely more unisex. I can't really put my finger on which gender would wear this the most. It is sweet. It is boozy for sure. You definitely get the rum note and, you know, the tobacco and the patchouli and the oak moss and the thyme oil. Like that's like just upon, you know, first getting a really good whiff of it. That is what I picked up. So that concludes my review of the new X version, or collection rather, of Nishane. I hope this was super helpful. Please let me know what you think. Um, if you also got the Discovery set, please let me know um, which one is your favorite. Do you have a favorite? Do you prefer the original? Um, yeah, just let me know. I'm really curious to know what your thoughts are at this point. As you already know, the original Ani is my favorite. I do prefer the, uh, the X collection, uh, the X Hashiba X to the original. 
Um, the others are, I prefer 100 Silent Ways original to the X collection. Fan Your Flames, I'm not too familiar with the original, but I do see how it's more balanced. And um, Wulong Cha, I personally, I think I prefer the original to the green tea, but that's just because I am not into green tea. Uh, so again, this is all based on your own preference, but what I wanted to do is at least give you some insight um, into what the new collection consists of. And I hope it was helpful. Again, drop your comments below. I will be reading it. Um, thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video or in the comment section. Bye-bye.